and a warm welcome back to the channel. I think this video is going to be slightly different than normal. Um, a little bit more of a vlog. As in, we've got things to catch up on. Big things, cool things. For now, as you can hear, I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, I'm making my way up a wee hill called Tinto. Um, it's been in there. You'll see the uh, sun's on its way down. I've got an hour or so um, before it really gets down and then another half hour or so it gets dark. And that is where the story begins. So what I'm gonna do is get the rest of this done and I'll check back in when I'm at the top. As you probably can tell, big bag's on, which means we're camping up here tonight. And we're camping for a reason that I'm about 50-50 whether, whether I've played my cards right with this one or not. But, like I say, I'm going to explain when I get to the top. I do have other footage to show you from last night, which will make more and more sense as well. So, it to be explained. Right, I'm going to push on this wee walk. <laughs> I made it just first part of an hour to get up here. Um, sunset's very much on its way down now. So uh, without further ado, I've got to put my, my bag up against the trig point and get my bits and pieces out and get my camp set up. 10 minutes and we should be good to go. Oh. I'll check back in in a wee minute and I can start explaining what I'm on about tonight. Got the tent up in good time. It's about uh, what, half nine now, about 20 minutes until we get the sunset. Darkness should be about somewhere between Quarter past ten or half ten. Right. So let me talk to you properly while I'm um, doing a few jobs. So last night, last night we all got the most amazing aurora. Um, I think 2003 was the last time like, that the earth got hit with such an explosion of light. And it's been continued all the way through the, today as well. Now, regardless of whether I get any tonight or not, tonight's more like a, a hit or a miss, swing and a miss type thing, you know. Um, I am going to uh, overlay footage at the end of this of what I got last night, because last night was just simply out of this world stunning. Like, um, I had to, um, I had to share the footage. <laughs> to be fair, coming up tonight for a camp was almost an excuse to then have a video to put that footage on. But there has been alerts all day, even up until about an hour or so ago. We were getting alerts of about 700 plus. Um, so a really good chance we could get it. I'm at the most northern hill I could make um, for me in terms of finishing work, etc. Um, and being home tomorrow. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm at Tinto, um, 711 metres, um, it's a 360 view, as you'll see probably more in the morning, I'll show you that now, but for now I'm just going to get set up in the tent um, and get comfortable, make sure everything's all charged up and get the camera set up in the hope that we um, we see something special in the next couple of hours. Last night, like I say, um, we had a pink arc over us. And it was just amazing. It was something like I say, I've never seen before, probably never see again. Um, and although there's a hope that you might get something along the lines tonight, in reality, we're, we're very likely going to get maybe a little bit of a glow. But I'm coming out just in case um, we get that. Um, so, got to get set up. And uh, I'll check back in after that. You don't need to see me set up tonight. 
but um, I might talk a wee bit about some of the gear I've got with me, um, just as a, as a camping vlog, but um, let's say the whole purpose of today was just a quick video, just to really kind of, to focus on the Laura for a change, and focus on, on what we would class as um, camping, almost camping and bucket list things, you know, um, good sunset, sunrise and a hope, you know, um, some kind of spectacular food that we're making, you know, the tents, you know, the stars, but the Laura is like the, that's pretty much the holy grail, isn't it? That's, that's the one you want, you want a picture of your tent with the, whole, with, with the, uh, the roll over it. So, let's get finished with setting up, I say, I'll check back in uh, very shortly. Cheers everybody. Well, the lights are starting to show up now in the airports as well. Um, it's actually quite stunning when you see it from here. A very wee panoramic. Show you what I've got to see going north. Um, yeah, it's nice. Um, and lots of wee towns from Lanark through in, uh, obviously Hamilton. And up into Glasgow. We can see the Arctic Alps as the sun's gone down. You should see it better in the morning. And then let's say the little airport beacons. And then over the distance we've got Edinburgh Airport just pinging away. In fact, I think that may, the lights I'm seeing that's flashing on and off, I think that might be the lights for the uh, the bridges perhaps. Yeah, the fourth bridges, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, it's just getting close to being dark. It's like, you know, just back at 10 now. Oh, another 20 minute or so, I might be time to get that star latch going and, and see what we can get. Yeah, fingers crossed. Either way, it's still a beautiful end to the night. So let's see what we can pick up. Cheers, guys. We Malibu, pineapple for the go. <laughs> I just thought to do uh, a little piece of camera for um, I finish off for the night. So, good news and bad news is we've had a lot of red alerts again so um the aurora is up in the sky and uh, you know um as it's getting darker there is a wee change in the color in the in the clouds but that's the bad news is there's a lot of cloud um so at the moment i'm not seeing anything um i'm getting pretty tired so um i think what i'm probably gonna do is just is just finish off the night get some sleep uh i've got a time lapse on so um we'll, we'll see what that looks like in the morning as well um but Either way, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the footage I got last night um, and I'll, I'll put that on towards the end of this video because um, that was just simply stunning. Um, if you haven't seen it on my, uh, my Facebook yet or Instagram or, or TikTok, then you're in for a treat. And if you have seen it, then, then I've also I've kept back a few other parts. Um, so it really is, and I've got a nice montage I'll put together for this one. Um, like I say, it was a... An aurora, like something we'll never see, possibly in our lifetimes again. Um, so so um, we'll get that in the morning on the way down. But yeah, I'm gonna finish off for the night. Um, like I say, it's always nice to get out in it. Um, and another wee hill ticked off, and another um, summit camp done for the year. So that's my my May one done. Um, oh, I am still planning on a summit camp at least one more this month um, hopefully this one this one coming this week um, but at least I can say that if I don't manage it if the weather changes or work changes whatever I can say that I've, that I've got my summit camp in so Tinto Hill uh, 7-Eleven nice little trick point on my next day as well and um, there is a another summit point up there that will go with that in the morning I've kind of briefly shown you that in the camera um, and I've talked about that in another video I'm not going to talk about that one again but yeah I won't Put my fingers on that tomorrow, and I'll, and I'll show you what it looks like when so anyone's got the wee, you know, it's like a little dial, and it tells you all the different hills in the area. That's quite cool. So, we'll show you that one. Um, but for me, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably just settle in for the night, keep the door open for a bit, and just keep an eye out in the, in the stars and see what's looking, and then, uh, and then get settled. 
So I'll check back in in the morning. We're hopefully, we've got a nice little time lapse. It's overlaying um, our night time, and it's not just a, a bunch of clouds. Good night, guys, and see you in the morning. Oh, good morning. Um, I think it's about six o'clock. Oh. So, um, I'm gonna get up and get sorted and get get home. Um, I haven't had a chance to look at the star laps, but um, I don't really have much hope. Um, I don't think it got, it got any better in terms of the clothes. In fact, I think it got, it got worse. Um, annoyingly, because. I've had a few more bed alerts overnight, so um, that's such a shame. But we'll see, you never know. Um, like I say, I'll talk about that footage from the, the night before. I'll upload that soon. I'll put that on the overlay as I'm walking back. Um, I just thought I'd make one little point of something that I, I was a bit different than I haven't had yet. And that was this. It's the Alpine... Pro 200 Rav sitting back. Um, I went for it. This is my, my real light summer sleeping bag. So I know that it's not actually as light as um, now as the Mythic. Was it Ultra Mythic? Yeah. It's not as light as that, um, but it's a natural sleeping bag, whereas the other ones like, attached to the, the pad. Uh, and because of the tent I've got today, it's, it's, it's a side door tent. I just wanted this one must be so easy to use to get in and out. The um the other the bag I've been having lately um I have to kinda of get in from the head end and it's already attached to the, uh, the pad which does make it quite awkward to get in um when you're in this type of tent. It's absolutely fine on the uh, uh, my red tent like last time I was out uh, at that beach camp absolutely fine, I can just slide myself into the den, you know. Um, I thought I fancied this and, like I say, I wanted to see what this was like in terms of warmth. Um, as when we go to do the West Highland Way, me and Caitlin, this would be the one that I was going to give for her as a kind of summer bag. And yeah, really cosy actually, um, like overly cosy. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to get up, sell up. Like I said, I didn't bring any uh, jet boil or, or anything like that with me um, and I don't expect to see much of a, of a, of a sunrise to be fair because like I say when I looked out half an hour or so ago it was just, just claggy so um, yeah I'm just going to open the door get some fresh air in me and then uh, pack myself up and get down the road and let's see we'll talk about the the roar a bit more when I get close to the car, I think. Right, let's get up. Oh. So as you're seeing here, that's the tent all getting put away. And all that's left for me to do is get the bag on. And then I actually still need to go and visit the summit. Because I've not done that yet. Huh. So I'll show you up there, so... Um, just in case you're... At this stage of the video, you're... You're wondering... What I mean by... I've not visited the summit when I've parked next to the trig point. Well... I'm at the... The trig point. The original... OS trig point. But behind me... Which I've, I've kind of shown a couple of times briefly, I'll show you a bit more in detail now via the drone, is uh, is like the big red rock cairn with its summit point. That's very, very well uh, seen from, from like, the motorway. And, in fact, you can see it from Glasgow. Um, you really can. When you come out the south side of Glasgow and you look down on a clear day, you can see the hill, you can see that little bump at the top of it, which is the, uh, the cairn. So, I'm gonna get up, get that little tagged, and then uh, run into the gar, pretty much. Right, let's go. Oh. 
Oh hey, the summit of Tinto. Hey, I'll give you a look at this. This is pretty cool. So, donated by the International Rotary Club. Gives you a proper little look at the, some of the places we have close by. You know, we can point out a few. I mean, you can't quite see it upside down, but there's, but it's got Hartfell just over in the distance there. Um, White Coombe, Broadlaw, and Cutterfell, and Dollar Law. You recognise them from a previous video that I did just recently. Um, yeah, got some of the Munros are on here as well. Like um, Ben Moore Licht. That's <laughs> it's over at uh, on the islands there. Ben Moore Perth. We got uh, Ben Lady. Hoping to camp in that soon. Ben Lawler's. Yeah, fantastic. So, got to finish off here and get down the, the hill. Car park just just down there. I <laughs> just want to say <laughs> it's the first time I've ever done a, a summit camp and not been the first person to tag the summit in the morning. Um, I forgot just how randomly busy this uh, this hill is. Um, it's just a a busy hill no matter what time of day or night. There was even people during the night at one point like about half twelve. Someone shone their torch into my tent. Um, I was a bit annoyed at that because I was just getting off to sleep. But whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you one other thing about this hill that's probably going to put me off ever doing it again for the purpose that I did last night. And that is the light pollution is really bad here. Like obviously you can see like all the big towns, you know, from Hamilton. Um, Motherwell, Glasgow, and obviously Edinburgh as well, and you know, Lanark, you know, there's Livingston lights. It's just all, you know, um, and they all add up to that little yellow orange glow that you get, you know. Um, which did make it really quite, quite hard to, to kind of see the darkness that you want to get. Um, I was going to go to the beef tub last night and do a quick one up there. In hindsight, probably should have done that, but I just, I have, you know, I've camped there and November, I think it was. Um, and I remember go some at Solo Camp there recently as well. I'll give a wee shout out to her. Um, so I just fancied a wee different hill. And in this case, I would say didn't quite work the way I wanted it to work. But never mind. Anyway, now I'll check back in the car and I'll give you a wee, a wee story about the previous night's Aurora. Ah, that's me back of the car. I've forgotten how busy that wee hill was. Met a few folk. Um, so I think what we'll do is let's talk to you about that Aurora before I finish off for the uh, for this wee adventure. Hi, right, so the Aurora. So as I mentioned it already in this video, um, I am sure many, many, many of you will have, will have seen it or have heard it at the very least. Um, we had the most amazing Aurora a couple of nights ago. Um, so to, to kind of talk you over my footage, um, I'll give you a few stills right now. But in terms of video-wise, the, the first little clip I've got is um, without any night lapse or, or any fancy lenses, it's literally just the camera itself um, and it just shows you just how clear it was to see like the this pink rainbow that was that was coming across it wasn't and it was it was like a bridge almost you know the little shards of light that was coming through it was it was reflecting off of the body it was it was stunning but the last little bit of footage I'm going to leave you with is a little montage as I'm going to play the video out 
is uh, the star lapse footage. Um, so I'm going to leave you that one, um, so you can kind of watch the end of that, and that'll be it. Um, in terms of camp, nice little camp. Probably didn't get the star lapse footage I hoped for. I um, haven't had a chance to look. Um, I would imagine it wasn't that brilliant, given that it's been cloudy for most of the night. But as I said earlier on there in the video, it's always nice to get a camp out there. Eh? Got a couple of big ones coming up these, uh, in the next few weeks or so. Um, I'm sure I'll Caitlin in the next one as well. So that's always fun. Um, but I think for me, Robert, Love Mountain Adventures, I'm going to sign out here. I'm going to leave you with my lower footage. And I hope you enjoy this one. Um, it certainly got a lot of hits on, on YouTube, and sorry, not YouTube, on Facebook and uh, TikTok. Um, so I hope you, you appreciate this one as well. Right, see you guys in the next video very soon. Thank you for watching as always. Stay safe. Goodbye.